Glad to have you back. The lingering disagreement between the Ogun State Government and lecturers of Moshud Abiola Polytechnic Abiyakuta over the relocation of the institution to Ipokia is taking its toll on business and social activities in host communities. The face-off has also led to a near total paralysis of academic activities in the institution. Correspondent Uluchen Olukoga reports. This is Oluwo community, one of the communities within Abekuta metropolis, highly populated by Mapoli students. This particular stretch of the road is usually beehive of vehicular and human activities, but over time has been deserted. Business and social activities here in recent times are no longer as usual, as most of shop owners, traders and market women are counting their losses as a result of the continued strike action embarked upon by the poly lecturers. The business is not moving. It's not being as it's supposed to be before. In transport wise too, there is a lull, a very deep lull. This should be the peak season, being the end of the year, the yule tide, but it, it's like dull. Second semester examination has been stated twice and on the two occasions postponed efforts to speak with school management or any government official proved abortive. Stakeholders in the state want government to do the needful. So the most painful aspect of this has been that he denied students writing exams claiming there is no money. And a week after that he hosted the commissioners of all 36 states in Nigeria. All those student that was supposed to have completed their second semester examination, they were supposed to proceed on youth service. Now they've been denied that. That means a lot of them will now have to stay back in Abekuta and pay for another one year house rent. However, on Monday in Abekuta, my police students launched Black Week protest. They intend to take over major streets within the metropolis till Friday, demanding an immediate action by government to have their institution reopened. From Ogun State, Olushegun, Olukoga, STV News, Abekuta. Our next story takes